Hello, good morning. It's a bit of a windy day today. It's a bit on the old uh, cool side and a bit rainy. So, a bit gloomy. So what, what's the best thing to do when it's a bit gloomy? Start off with a little bit of Nota 288. Because <laughs> the two glooms go together. Anyway, a little bit of a catch up, all right? A little bit of a catch up, let you know exactly where we are and a little bit of advice, maybe. So, um, first thing is, I'll just remind you of, is the shares. So, uh, changechecker.org is now over 50% sold out. And uh, I noticed this morning that the ones we had on eBay all sold out. And when I went on to pay hip, there was 46. So I've taken 26 off of pay hip, put them on eBay. So you've now got 20 left on pay hip, you've got 26 left on eBay for changechecker.org and then that's it, they're gone. So that's only 46 left of them. Uh, I should have had a look to see how many was left of change of rawmint.tv and Raw Mint News. I didn't look. But I will update you that uh, another time. Um, but I, I, I think they're probably 50% sold out, at least I would think. So uh, those of you that wanted to do it through eBay, you now can because there's a couple more up there. There's another 26 on eBay. Okay, so that's that. Um, amazing, isn't it? I tell you not to buy something and what do you bloody well do? Go straight out and buy it. I, I was explaining to you about the silver proofs on that video the other day. I said I was putting a couple of each up. Which I did, put one of each up. And then, uh, and then two of them went straight away. Not that I mind, because at the end of the day, it's off the bill or it's off a competition win or something or other, it makes no difference to me. In fact, it's, it's probably better for me, you know, because, uh, because I've told you all what they cost me and I told you what I was listening about and I told you not to buy it. And if you still go ahead and buy it, well, I, I'm a, I can't grumble. I've got to go, well, all right then. Fair enough, you know. So that's good. So uh, two of them went. Um, uh, what else have I got to tell you now about these I'm gonna I am gonna be trying to go into more better quality stuff on the raffle site I've still got tens of thousands of coins but the coins that I've got are not what everybody wants tomorrow I mean if I start sheeting up the countries and one thing and another and all the old pre-decimal and all the rest of it yes I know that um, the, there are quite a few of you that will, you know, that will want that and you will want a couple of sheets here and you'll shoot this, shoot that and so on and so forth. But it's not what everybody wants tomorrow. What everybody wants tomorrow is the latest, the biggest, the best, right? That's what everybody wants tomorrow. And, uh, and I'm not in a position to be able to do that just yet, but I'm still working on it. I mean, I don't think, you know, I will pat myself on the back from the fact that we've come back from the dead, completely and utterly come back from the dead. Not for the want of people trying to, to make sure we get finished off, but properly come back from the dead. So small steps, as I've been saying, I've got to take one step at a time. We're getting there bit by bit. I'm now in a position where, you know, we've paid off over 40 grand's worth of creditors. And at the same time, we raised a little bit of cash and we bought a little bit of new stock. Not too much, but a little bit. I'm now working on uh, some of the other uh, areas where I've got to pay a bit of money back like the suppliers and so on I need uh, some more for them so I've used some of the money to give you some better products for the raffles and then I need to now use some money for getting some of that paid off and I've, I've still got coins sitting here that I'm actually waiting to get delivered so uh, things are picking up better anyway a little bit of advice I wanted to give you which is to do with your better quality coins right and your silver proofs and your gold proofs and all of that. This might be a bit of advice where I'm just telling granny, teaching granny how to suck eggs. You might be doing this already. Some of you no doubt will be, but some of you won't have thought of it. It's a simple thing and you won't have thought of it. You know, like, uh, like I didn't think of it until I did think of it and then I started doing it. And that is, when you get a gold or you get a silver, just simply write down the certificate number. 
I know that sounds such a simple thing, but you know, one way of doing it is nowadays our phones, if you don't want to make a list or something, our phones are unlimited. I remember the days when, when my phone would only hold 12 text messages. And then if I wanted to save a text message, I had to delete one. Not anymore, our phones are completely unlimited. We have an unlimited amount of space in our phones for contacts, because contacts take up no space. So, what I do is I'll open a contact in my phone. Peter, and I'll put the name, let's take a gold one, because I have a gold, right? So, the name is Peter Rabbit. That's the name of my contact, Peter Rabbit. And, and then on the last name, it'd be, it'd be first name be Peter, second name be Rabbit, 2019 gold or you could do it peter rabbit as the name and then as the last name 2019 gold so now you know what that is you've got the contact for your peter rabbit gold and then in the notes section of the contact write the certificate number if you've got a silver jeremy fisher make a contact jeremy fisher silver 2018 in the notes put a certificate number Certificate number, da 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 da. Now, that will only take you just a few seconds each time you get one. I mean, if you've got a few and you've not done it, well, obviously it's going to take you a little bit of time to go through what you've got and do it, but it's worth it, trust me. Right? Because every time you update your phone nowadays, all of the information on your phone gets transferred over to the next phone. It's that easy, isn't it? So, um, when you, when you stick to the same one. I mean, I've stuck to Apple for, for 10 years or more now, and so every time I get a new phone or a new iPad, just it's automatic, all the information just gets copied over. But why is this so important? I can almost guarantee, because of the numbers game, that one of you is gonna get burgled. One of you is gonna get robbed. I know it's not a nice thing to say, but, the more customers I have, the more people that we get, the more chances that one of you at some point is gonna get burgled. When you get burgled, if that happens to you, obviously I hope it doesn't, but if it happens to you and you was to get burgled or robbed in some way and lose your prized possessions, which is your stuff that is certificated, the little little bit of silver what's name you know in the old cloud silver lining in the cloud is you've got the certificate number and crooks are pretty a lot of crooks are pretty thick i know it's it, but it is a standard a lot of crooks are pretty thick and they tend to not think things through so you would have somebody nick a certificated item and then that person would be stupid enough to list that item for sale and put the certificate number in the listing. And if it ever happens to you and you ever get one done, all you've got to do, one of the things you've got to do is search that certificate number on eBay. Do the search once, only once. Search that number, just put that number in, in the search box on eBay. Click search and click the button that says you want to search items and descriptions, titles and descriptions, in case someone doesn't put it in a title, but they do put it in a description, so you tick that box. Now, of course, it's gonna come up with zero results. Then you tick the box that says, if anyone ever lists anything like this, let me know, and you will get an instant email. So if you do that now, with the certificate number that you've got for a silver or a gold, you do that now, today, tomorrow. Now, what I mean is present moment, right? You do that now, do the search, save that search so that it emails you every time. Now you forget about it. Now you've got it, you've got it saved, you've got the certificate number saved, and you've done this search on eBay for that same certificate number. Now you forget about it. Search is saved. Anytime anything comes up for sale with that number in it, you will get an instant email from eBay going, hey, someone's listed that item you want. And you can go and have a look. That simple. Right? And if, and if you do that now, 
and somebody comes along and nicks it in five years time, you've already done it. You've already written down the certificate number. You've already done that search on eBay. You've been getting emailed for five years every time somebody lists something with that number for sale. And then all of a sudden in six years time, somebody lists that silver proof for sale with that certificate number because it's not about necessarily the crook that lists it for sale. The crook might list it for sale without a certificate number and sell it. You're none of the wiser. Okay, but somewhere along the line, at some point, one of the person that bought it might sell it on, might sell it on, might sell it on. Now, all these people in the chain, they won't know that it's bent. They won't know that it's stolen. And it only takes one person, one person in the chain to list that item for sale with the certificate number, bang, you've got them. You can call the police and the police will go and take that item off them and give it back to you because that is one of the laws of our country. Unless you actually make the transaction within one square mile, the city of London, one square mile, outside of that, uh, transaction, stolen property, etc., etc., is automatically, in our laws, taken back off. There's no uh, statute of limitations. It's automatically taken off the person if it can be proven that that was the original owner and it was stolen off them. It gets taken back given to them. And then you've got that for life then. You've got that protection for life. It's like buying your own insurance, except it's free. Completely free insurance it is. Because all you're doing is you search the certificate number. Just the number. That's all you've got to search. So if it's a Jeremy Fisher and it's 0747, then search that, 0747. That's all you need to search. Anything with that in, it will show you. Right? Or you might t t type in Jeremy Fisher 747. You know. But you see what I'm saying? So so over the years that search is in there, it's automatically in there, it's automatically stored within eBay and it is automatically emailing you every time the words Jeremy Fisher and 747 come up in an item title or description. You are insured then for life for free. All you've got to do is prove that you own it now. And the easiest way to do that is take a bloody photograph. Now you can prove that you own it. So just, you know, take a photograph with you and the coin or something like that. Easy way to keep records, easy way for free insurance. Right, that is an insurance for you, that is, because then the police in the future can come back and get it back and give it back to you. I hope, you, I hope that helps. So that's interesting information. Sorry it went on a bit long, but it is really interesting information. Okay then, thanks very much. I sort of did it so you could see a bit of the pond. So over that bit there, that's me waterfall that I rebuilt. And that one there, that's me uh, dragon's head. And it's looking a little better now. We took away the stream and just put in the waterfall. And now the birdies come and they come and they come in this waterfall, especially at the top, about there at the top of it there, and you see them come down, and they come down, they have a wash, and then from where I'm sitting, I can see it, it's lovely. Anyway, I hope that that's been interesting. For those of you that haven't had a go at the free raffles, get on over, tgbchraffle.com. There's people winning prizes already, people winning prizes for free, and you can come and win prizes for free. You don't have to spend any money. It's just that I know that, you know, the, 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 way, the rule of thumb is, the way that it works, the marketing, is that you will, most people or some people will spend some money at some point you know like the free scratch card it's a free scratch card and uh, and you might win a free go or you might win like seven goes for a fiver or ten goes for a fiver or twenty goes for a fiver but of course then we get a fiver out of you see get that by a thousand people that'd be five grand wouldn't it you know, so uh, this is all a method in the madness, everything, but come over, right? And uh, and this Friday, we'll be having a draw on Patreon. So uh, you've got, at the moment, we only have six people on Patreon, so come and join us. Otherwise, everybody on there, six to one. Two prizes are going this week, this Friday. Come over and join us on Patreon. That'd be good. And uh, have a look at TGBCH Raffle and do some shares. And buy some shares in changechecker.org royalmint.tv or royalmint.news Thanks very much.
Speak to you later. Bye for now.